Communities start to reopen. Many pediatricians are reporting another problem. Child immunization rates are the lowest they've seen ever. Focus investigative reporter Paula Bassan obtained records from the Kentucky Health Department to investigate the extent of this issue. This photo looks like a typical Saturday night on Bardstown Road before COVID-19, but it was taken just last month. And that is concerning. We don't want another disease coming back. It's one of the many reasons Corey Gadansky says her children. My kids are 14, 9, and 7. Are up to date on their vaccines. That was the best choice for my kids. Their vaccinations prevent potentially deadly diseases like measles and chickenpox, and with their schools possibly reopening soon. I want to be prepared and have all of my kids ready for when they can go back. But there's a problem. This is a community emergency. Chris Bryant is a pediatrician at Norton Children's Hospital and the University of Louisville. Amid COVID-19 stay-at-home orders, she says many people have avoided the one place they shouldn't their doctor's office. Those most at risk for preventable illnesses, she says, are children, with many of them now behind on their vaccines. When immunization rates drop in a community, um, that community becomes at risk for outbreaks. We're likely going to see a lot more disease than, than just COVID. Does that concern you? As a pediatrician, it sure does. More and more people are going to get sick. Doctors we interviewed say for vaccines to be effective at preventing certain diseases, achieving what's called herd immunity, about 95% of the population must be vaccinated. But since COVID-19, they've seen that number dwindle. It's really scary. Because Not just at their own practice. They decrease significantly. But around the country. On average, it's about 40% decrease. That worries me. This started off in March and has continued to go down. To find out how much immunizations among kids have dropped, we dug through records we obtained from the state's health department. They show for kids aged 18 and under, vaccine doses decreased on average by more than 56% between March and June last year before COVID-19, compared to the same time this year during the pandemic. It's the latest data we received from the state's health department. What age group stood out to you the most? The adolescents. Among kids under 18, we found seven, eight, nine, 14, and 15 year olds had the most stark declines in vaccine doses from last year compared to this year, with drops at more than 70%. What do you think needs to change? These numbers, I think, are a call to action. Bryant says parents should call their doctor and make sure their family is up to date on vaccines. And she says doctors should remind parents when their kids are due for appointments. That's a lot of catching up to do. It's important to know the numbers we obtained on child vaccine doses in Kentucky may not represent the full picture. It's because providers have the option to report vaccine numbers to the state. Doctors we interviewed are imploring those in healthcare to make reporting that data a priority for the safety of all of us. For Focus, I'm Paula Bassan.